This video is for Jaron Jackson, who's running for Oklahoma State Senate. I am an evangelical Christian as well. I believe the only way to save ourselves and this nation is through Jesus Christ. But violent rhetoric is not the way to solve this. Jesus never used violent rhetoric, and the only time he did use violent rhetoric was against the religious right of his day. You have to understand, Satan is leading you. Satan is great at causing righteous men to fall. And Satan uses our fear, our greed, our hates. And I agree, communism is bad. But you don't fight a war with communism the way you are thinking. Because Satan wants you to get violent. Satan wants you to attack those godless commies. Because, one, it will corrupt you. You will be violent and will be going against God, who basically, Jesus, nor Paul, nor any of the disciples told us to raise arms. Those who live by the sword will die by the sword. Never once told us to rot, told the disciples to rise up against the Roman Empire. And the Roman Empire was 100 times worse than our government. But it's more than that. Satan is using people like you, and I believe you can stop. I believe you can say, get behind me, Satan. You have no power over me. Because atheism, atheism is on the rise. And you may think that's because of godless communists. No, it's because of people like you. People don't view Christianity as a radical, transformative thing that it is. They don't think of the Holy Spirit. They don't think of Jesus Christ, the Son of God who loved us so much that he gave his life on the cross. They think of people like you. People who frankly scare them. And that's exactly what Satan wants. Satan gets a twofer. He gets you, and he gets any of the people who read you on the Pe People for the American Way or Right Wing Watch, which have their own agenda, pushing atheism, but you're giving them ammunition to do it. So please, Brother Jaron, pray, really pray, and just throw Satan off your back. You'll be happier. You'll be healthier. Remember the fruits of the fruit of the spirit. Love, hope, peace, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, patience, and self-control. And I know that's probably not in order. I, I get them confused sometimes. But you and I hate to say your ilk, you don't seem like Christians. You seem like Pharisees. You seem like the very people who, because of Israeli nationalism, thought it's better for one man to die than for a whole nation to suffer. You are becoming like the ones who killed Christ. Satan is using you. And you may think Satan is using me, but am I attacking you? Am I saying I hate you? Am I saying you're godless? Am I saying that we should raise arms against you? No. I'm asking you to truly accept Jesus as your personal Savior, to truly let him in and let the power of the Holy Spirit transform you, and you might be the start of a new revival. Brother Jaron. Because I have no doubt of your belief in Jesus Christ. I just believe Satan is twisting it for his own advantage. You're better than this, Jaron. Every Christian nationalist is better than this. Jesus knows you're better than this. And remember, Matthew 7, the time of judgment, I will say... Verily, verily, I have never known you. Go away. Jesus knows what you do. 
And Jesus knows if your fruit is rotten. And if you are using his name to blaspheme God, he will turn you away come judgment day, whether you're a believer or not. Even demons believe. Don't let your faith be stolen. Trump has stolen so many people's faith and twisted it. And Satan used them. You're better than this, Brother Jaron.